Dar date, June 25th, 2013. Welcome to everybody. Come on board to the Mike Show. Here we have, looking down, a number of interesting specimens. Firstly, if you look at that, you may not have seen them before. They are rhubarb seeds. Now, these bad boys here, as you can see, have got sort of... Look at that, like little sort of veins on them. Aren't they cute? Anyway, the idea is you can plant them out, folks. They will grow. So give them a chance, but apparently they won't be exactly the same as a parent plant due to some cross-pollination, hopefully. Now, the big surprise is in the bottom of the barrel here, we have some homegrown strawberries. Mm-mm-mm. Bet you'd like to get your chops around that, wouldn't you? Eh? Well, you can too if you grow your own strawberries. These taste quite earthy, but then when you grow them yourself, you've got a soft spot for them. Cut. Look at those bad boys going around there, my friends, the bumblebees. They're dead excited there. There's loads of blackberries there, and there's honeysuckle as well. Going outside, we have the wild uranium, pink variety. Everybody's got it here in knots, haven't they? But it's pretty, isn't it? You take it for granted, don't you? And over there, look at this one here. Variegated holly. Now that doesn't grow on trees, does it? And here we have a Mike special. Never got a chance to do this in science lessons, but there you go. We've got elderflower. We're going to make our own press say today with Mikey Boy. Basically, get your elderflower. I know it stinks. But then, if it's good enough for the Duke of Rutland, it's good enough for me. Put yourself a couple of florets. There we go. Three. Three will do, because I've already made some earlier. Right. By the way, your holly, male and female trees, you need them. I've got male and female. There you go. This one here they call Ocean Spray. Isn't it gorgeous? Enjoy. Look at this bad boy. This is actually a berry on a variegated holly that hasn't yet gone red. Shh, don't tell anyone. On to Mikey Boy's kitchen. We've got our florets here. Basically, cut your stalks, get them into your pan there. There you go. Boiling up the kettle. I'll just give you a quick demo here, really. These are ones I've caught earlier from different hedgerows, you see. They are a wild plant, so I'll give it around. There you go, I think that's boiled. Don't put too much water on, would be my top tip to you when you're making elderflower presse. Right, just cover them. Right, even that might be a bit much. Right, and I've got plenty of florets there. There they go, stop. I'm using light brown muscovado. You could use demerara if you've not got any. If you're really desperate, use your refined cane sugar. It's always best to have the unrefined stuff, I find, for this sort of thing. You can be slightly generous. I would say about a good tablespoonful. Gently mix it in onto your elderflowers there. I've not done loads there, but notice I've only really just covered them. Probably need to use some more flowers on that one, on this bad boy. But there you go. Put some there. There we go, just a sprinkling of the elderflower. Now then, now then, what you have to do next is, once it's covered, bring it to the boil. And I'd stir that gently and press your flowers as you're doing it, okay? Just say yes, Nigella, and you'll be there, stop. Just like any flower, elderflower will have the female part that is the carpal, which has got the sticky stigma, the style, and the ovary, and it'll have the male part, which is the anther, which has got these stalks on where the pollen's formed. And these are actually self-fertile, but they do cross-pollinate across different species. Of course, I'm getting it as a flower. I'm not giving it a chance to go to a berry. Stop. Okay, so here we have been simmering away for a couple of minutes, kept on very low heat and it's becoming more viscous. Okay, I keep pressing it down. I don't add any more muscovado or demerara. I don't overdo it on the sugar, really, because it's obviously, you know, going to be too sweet, right? So once you're happy with that, and it's been simmering for a, for a while, and you don't think it's going to get any, any darker, then basically don't overboil it, okay, so whatever nutrients you've got, you don't want to totally blast them. Then you're going to have to filter it, and I'll just use a simple uh, colander type sieve here. And, and uh, put the flowers onto the sieve. Hopefully, if, if you use a pan, etc., you can just rest it on there 
spoon out the remain, uh, remainder of your elderflowers, okay, and then press them down. Of course, in Harry Potter, the most powerful magic wand is the Elder Wand, but you probably knew that already, didn't you? And apparently in Slovakia they make flutes from elder branches and other musical instruments in Eastern Europe. Very popular in Germany and Austria where it's cultivated. There you go. So once it's filtered and I've got the press, eh, I suppose in some places they might even use a proper wine type press to press these flowers. I'm just pressing it gently through the sieve here. We've got some filtration. And there we have in there the juice. Now what I would do is put it into a sealed container like that once it's cooled down then put it in the fridge and fridge it at least overnight so the colour darkens like that. Finally, once you've made your elderflower press and boiled it, you need to leave it. I leave it overnight in one of them tea strainer type glass containers which have a press on it. Then you're left with this fluid that looks like this. Now don't tell me what you think it is. It isn't. It's very strong, the smell. I don't personally drink it neat, but if you're a bit rock and roll, maybe you do. Maybe you can take it. Well, you'll be a proper man if you do. Anyway, what I do, I tend to have a mixture where you pour your... This is neat elderflower with Demerara from the Presse, pure Presse. It's quite uh, like, you know what. Then you get some... Try some apple. This is just basic apple juice here. So I would say about two parts elderflower to one part apple. No alcohol involved. Mikey boy's not allowed to drink alcohol anymore after what happened to him uh, not so long ago. Not to do with alcohol, mind you. Mm. Cheers, everybody.